Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 34 of Europa Universalis 4 as Malware. And uh, things have been going quite well for us. We've been able to take some territories. There are a few little guys that we'd like to attempt to take a bite out of if we get the opportunity. We are getting some aggressive expansion, which we do need to be careful about. But let's have a look and see what we can do about taking some more land. Now, these guys, unfortunately, are a vassal under Vajainagar, so we can't do anything about them until we actually deal with Vajainagar. Um, the same issue is going on here. Actually, these guys, these guys are allied. This is interesting. These guys are allied with Vajainagar, but they are also... Um, guaranteed by Bermanis. If we declared war there, we'd be bringing both Bajanagar and Bermanis in, which is a little bit weird. So we can't really go for them either. So that's a bit of a pain. Um, were we getting our reputations up with you? No, that's fine. So I guess we either have to go after Bengal or we go after Bermanis, which is obviously going to be getting easier because they're getting smaller, uh, or we go after Delhi. Delhi are still. Uh, allied with Bermanis. Now, if we go out straight after Bermanis, we could do what we did before and just jump straight on Delhi and siege their capital out, which is probably the better way of doing things. Um, one thing that I did think that I uh, that I wanted to do, which I uh, I should do, is I want to go ahead and uh, claim all of this uh, area here. Uh, simply for the fact that I don't really want Transoxiania coming in and taking any of these provinces that border them. Um, because they're all provinces that I want. And uh, I don't really want to have to go to war with Transoxiania to get them. So I'm just going to mark everything. Say, look, Delhi, Delhi's mine. I am having Delhi. And that's the end of it. Uh, Sindh does have some provinces. Do we actually need those provinces? I want to be looking at the areas map mode. No, the regions map mode. Um, Western India goes down to this line here. Yeah, so there's those couple of provinces as, as well. Um, so we do technically need all of that. That should be enough to get us everything we need over there. So at least we've sort of marked it saying that, look, we, we want that, so leave it alone. So I think what I will do, and my manpower is pretty good. Money's not too bad either. We are drilling with some armies. Uh, are we expecting any big problems? Not really. So what I think I might do is move down here with a couple more armies. Ah, we've we've learned of France. Um, so we'll have th we'll have three armies down here. We don't need to be drilling with them. Let's go ahead and turn on these forts, particularly the capital. Now this is going to cost us some money, but that is fine. And um, we'll get some of our other armies up here, and we're just going to try and jump straight on Delhi. We're also going to turn this fort on as well, and this one. So we're just going to get ready and try and jump straight on Delhi if we can. Uh, so straight on Bermanis. I don't think we've got a truce with them, have we? No. So we can literally jump jump straight on them here. Um, the Majaraja's reputation is tarnished. Lose 100 dip, lose the stability, or lose 25 dip. I guess we'll just lose the 25 dip, I suppose. How are we doing on tech, by the way? Still a little bit behind, even on Diplotech, but it would be nice, if possible, to, to build that. Which was the province I was trying to build up? Was it this one? Probably should have taken better note of which, which province it was, really, shouldn't I? It was this one. Yeah, it didn't get very far, did it? I mean, we could spend, spend a little bit in some of these, but... Yeah, it's going to take a while to go. Oh, no, that's not too bad. As much as I'd like to be up there in terms of tech. Oh, this, is, this is spending a lot of points that I shouldn't be spending, but ah, it's getting us there. It'll pay, it'll pay back for itself in the end. It really will. So we're going to move some units up here. Uh, we don't have a single leader up there, which is probably bad. We should probably have at least one. Uh, let's put our um, the guy that we got for free over there. And he can go and sort of get ready to 
uh, jumping on Delhi because I think we can get them out pretty quick. And I probably, I probably try and grab this province from Delhi actually. Might as well, just to get rid of the border core, if nothing else. Um, do we have? I'm sure we must have a claim somewhere here, right? Uh, we probably are ready to go at this point. Uh, we do have a claim. Delhi would come in. Idar will come in. And I don't want to call Vijaynagar in um, because I don't really want Vijaynagar to take anything. That said, I mean, Vijaynagar... Vijaynagar don't need a promise of land to come in. But I think I can beat Vermanis without them. Uh, before we do that, of course, let's go ahead and... Um, let's go ahead and, and, and dock up the uh, the fleet just for safety's sake dock up the fleet and then we'll go ahead here and declare our war yep so delhi will come in that's fine confirm um you're gonna march straight into there you're gonna march in here you're gonna march in there we will probably see some armies so we might need to deal with that uh, as soon as we confirm that delhi are in which is right there because they've just turned their forts on um you guys can all sort of march in there We'll keep our eyes open for Delhi's army. As long as we can siege Delhi out pretty quick, there shouldn't be too much of a problem. Delhi's army's going up that way. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this fort on. They're probably going to start trying to siege some stuff out up here, uh, which I think is fine. They're not really going to get anywhere. It would be nice if we could take some stuff from Delhi, but I'm not overly concerned about that being a thing. You're trying to move around there. Uh, you're about to try and take me on over here, and... Um, Oh, no, no, you're trying to take on Idar. In that case, can we get over here and just thrash your army? Because I'm more bothered about winning battles than anything else. You're trying to siege some stuff out over here. You might just be going straight to my capital. Uh, we've already sieged that out. Right, you're going around over there with a fairly large stack, but I don't think that's all that important, really. Love how they've actually got a fort here. They're going to get a little bit stuck there. Right, now, we did win this battle over here. That's fine. You guys can just jump into into there, I think. This 18 stack is trying to make its way around. I, again, more forts is more expense, but it will it will be worth it in the end. It will protect us. We could call Vijaynagar in. Just Actually, I'm going to do it. Let's just call Vijaynagar in. We're not gonna, we don't have to promise them land, and they're just going to come in and, and start making life more difficult for Bermanis, so that's fine for me. Minus 15% unjustified demands. Well, that's good. That'll help. So you're going to grab that. Um, we should probably just jump. Well, I don't need to jump straight on their capital. New Emperor. So yeah, you're trying to march down here now. I, I do love how easily um, the AI just completely avoids all of your forts like they don't even exist. Um, I'm going to try and take these two provinces here and maybe give them to Idar. Possibly. I don't know. And yeah, you know, Delhi are marching through. If these guys get like one big army together, it might be problematic. But I think overall we're going to be fine. And you're going to try and siege that out now. You're already on 0%, which isn't something that I don't particularly like. No, you've decided to give up on that one. That's fine. Maybe they've suddenly realised that they're getting a lot of stuff sieged out. Not too sure what Delhi's going to try here. I don't really intend or want or need to take too much stuff from Delhi. I'd just like to get them out of the war. Because once we get rid of Bermanis, then going to war with Delhi in the future will be a lot easier. So at this point, it's just let's just try and get Delhi. They're going to try and get a little army together there. Vijaynagar's got a nice stack up here, actually. They're going to help us out. Vijaynagar is sieging down here as well, so... Won the Siege of Delhi, which is excellent. I would like to try and get this fort, though. Let's move in a little bit further and try and... Because most of Delhi's armies are down here giving me grief. So let's try and take another fort from Delhi, if we can. And we will sort of keep our... I mean, they are... They, oh, they took a fort down there, the cheeky little gits. Oh, well, they're still technically losing the war, so that's fine. And we'll just sit here, take some forts. I mean, sorting out Bermanis is not as important right now. It's kind of sorting out everywhere else that's important. But that's okay. That's okay. We've got this one. 
I'd like this to fall. We haven't got a wall breach here. I'm tempted to just go ahead and pay for that. I want this to fall quickly. See if we can just take it. It's annoying that they have managed to take that, but it is what it is. Now, you do have quite a few armies around. You might try and march in here and do something. I, hopefully, I can uh, reinforce. We did manage to take that. So, Delhi, would you be willing to peace out right now? You wouldn't even be willing to go for a white piece at this point. You're only on negative four. And they have got one of our forts. You're also trying to siege this out now, which is a little bit annoying. Um... Probably don't need to take too much else from them. Let's go ahead and um, group these guys up into a nice big 40 stack. And we're going to go and pay a visit to Delhi. Uh, to their armies over there while this guy does all the sieging out. I might need to put another leader in charge there. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Idar are fighting some of the small guys down here. That's not too much of a problem either. Doesn't look like we're being jumped on. So yeah, we, we will need a leader for these guys. Jaina Gar gets a free kill on a little one stack down there. Yeah, you guys are just being annoying at this point. I mean, I could probably go in there without a leader. Let's just group these guys together and get straight across there. Oh, they did get it. Cheeky gets. If I could have got there quick enough, we'd have been the defender. Now, which way are you trying to go? Really? I've got to move all the way around there because of my own fort? Wow. That's a Bomani army that's been destroyed. We'll keep sieging that. Let's have a look at what's going on down here. So we have taken that. Let's go in here. We don't have a leader there, actually. And I'd very much like to have a leader there. Let's get ourselves a spare leader just for now. Um, oh, wow. Now he's good. Um, I didn't name him because I wasn't uh, planning to keep him. But I am going to keep him around just for... Right, you're locked. I will keep that general around for a little while. How were you movement locked and they, yet you moved out and through? How does that even work? Wow, this game sometimes. This game sometimes. Let's... Right, we've got that. Let's move into this province. We're going to try and take this back. Now, this army might come up here to try and retake this. Vajaynagar's actually coming up to try and help me deal with Delhi, which is nice. It's a shame that Delhi took some of our forts, but I think we can deal with that. Yeah, don't all sit on top of my units and giving me a ton of attrition. That wouldn't be good. So, we'll try and take that back. Yeah, you might be coming around to try and sort this out. Okay, that's another one of your forts we've got. So, how are you feeling about being in this war now? You'd actually give us that province. Um... But you wouldn't give us that one. I'm I'm almost willing to... We can get war reps from Delhi. Not much money. Get a province and some war reps from Delhi. I am going to take that. So that's our province now. That hides some of the border gore. Let's um, pause up. Uh, let's start bringing these guys back down now. Uh, you can split again. And so we've still got some uh, some issue with Bamanis. That's fine. I am going to leave the forts on because there is a Bamanis army up here, actually. Um, actually, let me just stop you right there because that, that's, that Bamanis army I've just sort of noticed is, is still around. Uh, let me just uh, group you together. Do I have a general that I can put in charge of you? Yeah, we can put that guy in charge. So you're going to march over here and deal with these guys. He was thinking about coming into the fort. I probably should have just let him, really. But So where are you actually going? You are marching into Delhi. Which apparently I can still do, even though I am no longer at war with Delhi. Let's go and march down here. He's, got to, he's going to come back down eventually. We'll see if we can head him off. Uh, in the meantime, there's not an awful lot going on down here. Uh, don't attach to me. You're just causing attrition. They're, they're still occupying this fort, which we do need to go and take back. In fact, you can go and take that back. Let's go and take that fort back. Let's start uh, coring that province that we did take. We probably don't need to have... Um, in fact, what level fort is that? 
Just a level two one. So we can get rid of that one because we've already got the one here next to it. So it isn't really needed. So I'm just going to keep those guys there so I can see where their armies end up going. Might try and take some coastline here from them. They've pretty much just left the place unattended at this point. Just kind of walk, walk in and help ourselves. Oh, what we could do, let's go ahead and push their ships out because um, Vajainagar are blockading. So if we push their ships out, then Vajainagar will end up uh, dealing with their ships. So you're trying to take this province there. I'm not going to click directly on the province that I'm going to because I think the AI knows when you do that and moves its units. There's another one of their... Um, I'm just going to split this... Uh, unit up so I can grab two provinces at once here. Yeah, we're going to force their ships out. Bermanis is sieging another one of their provinces down here. Let's go and split your... I don't think Bermanis have got any armies left down here to the south. I think they're all up north now. Which is fine. Yeah, they're all up here, so that's okay. So, he's got a wall breach, but he's negative 14. Yeah, he's actually changed his mind now. And I didn't even click on the fort, but he must have, the AI must have something that says if, if they're within a certain number of uh, certain number of provinces to, to break it and run. We, are, we do have that battle, but at the same time we've got to deal with a lot of this stuff down here. So let's go and work on that. We forced out their ships, so they're now getting attacked by Vajainagar's ships. Won that battle there. I'm going to bring you back over because their army's still around somewhere. This should come back in no time at all. You're going to go up and start grabbing that stuff. Right, so you have got an 18 stack down there. I'm not sure where all Vajainagar's armies are at this point. We grab that one. Let's move up here. Stay next to Vajainagar. I've got a 57% chance here. I didn't think they were going to turn that over, but that's fine. I didn't really expect them to. Let's just keep grabbing stuff. Get more ships getting pushed out. The Idar's actually having a go at those ones. Um, yep, you're getting... Well, Vajainagar's navy's quite small there in comparison. Uh, lose some ducats or lose some admin power. I think I'm going to take the admin hit because I really don't want to lose all the money right now. Now, we can see a relatively big army stack heading up this way, which I don't like. Nice if we get you guys all together in one province, and you are. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, you've got Puji there anyway. You guys are movement locked, so let's go in and attempt to take you guys here if we can. We do have the same base morale. We've got the same tactics and the same discipline. Extra global trade power. Nice, but we, we do win that battle. Go and take some more stuff. Yeah, Vajainagar, because Vajainagar want that land, they're never going to let us uh, sort of keep any of that. But that's fine. Yeah, your army went all the way down here, didn't it? You cheeky little gits. Let's march down. We might be able to do something. We'll be ending this war soon anyway. There's only so much we can take from them, realistically. So we don't want to get too greedy. Well, I mean, of course we do. We, we, of course we want to get greedy, but we don't want to be too greedy. Lots of provinces here coming under our control. We're already at 99% war score. There's no point carrying this on, actually. So let's go ahead and sue for peace and see what we can get. Probably want to have these coastal provinces and take us all the way down to Vajainagar's borders. Um, that gives us a lot of ex aggressive expansion. I mean, we could just try... Uh, getting Goa is excellent as well. Uh, it's a lot of aggressive expansion. It's a lot of overextension. But it's probably worth it because we are... they still got a couple of coastal provinces down there. Can get war reps as well. Get a fair bit of money from them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that. So, we've just gained a ton of coastline. And we have... Um, yeah, we've gained a ton of coastline. So a fair few provinces that we need to core now. Which is not going to be cheap, but let's get working on that. We do have that extra general. 
And I think we're going to fire the 111 guy, to be honest. So, what's our over... Oop. That's not what I wanted to click on. What is my overextension? It's not over 100%, so that is all good. Uh, you guys group together as soon as you can. So we are getting some war reps. A couple more things that we need to do here. We need to take our navy. Uh, you need to go back to protecting trade uh, here. And go home during war. Uh, we do have some more states that we can make. So we need to do that at some point. We also need to turn the forts off. How much money are we making? Yeah, not, not enough. Let's go ahead and turn the forts off. Group you guys together. Uh, you can probably do some drilling. Actually, uh, we need to get rid of that extra leader, don't we? Uh, why can't we get rid of you? Because you're assigned to an army. Uh, we are going to no leader you. We're going to click on that. And you are fired. So armies we can drill. This army doesn't have any drill going on. So let's go and sort that out. This army is probably going to move up here a little bit. But we'll get you drilling. And we've got that army's drilling down there as well. Excellent. So three armies drilling. And that was our king dying. It's unfortunate. Uh, the new one is a 324, which is not too bad. No current deity. Um, hmm, interesting. What do we want to go for here? I think we might just go for the tax and trade efficiency again. Try and build up some money. Can't afford to buy any more of these at the moment, but I'm quite happy with the how that war went. So I'm going to end the video here. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you're still enjoying EU4, and I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye for now.